Well, this is Computer Practice N6, uh, Microsoft Word or Word Manipulation. Well, in this lesson, we are going to focus only on table, table formatting, and as well as calculations, right? Let's have a, have a look on the objectives of the lesson. We need to check how to insert the table, uh, how to insert and delete rows and columns, how to insert and remove uh, borders on the table, to format the entire table, the last part one, to perform calculations, as well as printing. All right, let me take you straight to my blank Microsoft Word. Remember, we are using Microsoft 2016. Right, as I've already mentioned that our focus is on the table. We need to start by inserting the table. So this is how we go about to insert the table. As you can see, this is column one, two, three, and four. This is four columns. Let's go to rows. Row number one, two, three, four, five. Well, when you click here, now you can see. I've got a table of uh, four columns and five rows. Let's start with table formatting, starting with the issue of merging the cells. Uh, I highlight the, the entire first row, right click and merge cells. So once the cells are merged, then you can see that we are no longer having columns on row number one. Well, the topic uh, here is going to be right. This is APC computers invoice. How to centralize the topic? That one is very simple horizontal center, bold the topic, the topic it's bold. Now you can see that we've got equal rows in each, or to the entire table. So we've got equal rows. Sometimes you might be required to increase the size of a certain row, like, like the first one. In order to increase the size of the first row, size of the first row you need to do is to go to table formatting, right? Here we've got a table tools where we've got design and layout. These are table tools that we have. All right, let's go to, to the properties of this table. You can see right now that the topic APC computers invoice is horizontally centered, right? I would like to start by increasing or enlarging the, uh, the size of the first row. Right here we've got the table tab, the row tab. Then in order to increase the, 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 the row, we need to increase, but unfortunately you can see it is inactive. So you make a tick on this checkbox in order to activate this portion. Then we can increase. Let's say I need to increase the first row to one centimeter because it was zero, so it has been increased to one centimeter. Now you can see. Well, at the very same time, you can see that the topic is still horizontally centered. So now I need to be horizontally and vertically centered. I need this topic to be horizontally and vertically centered. Again, Back to table properties. Here we've got columns. Here we've got cells. So when it comes to cells, tick center here, then you can see the topic is now both horizontally and vertically centered. Right again, still on the very same first row. Let's change the pattern of the first row about the pattern we are referring to the background. So let's change the pattern of the first row. 
in order to change the person of the first row, you simply go to design. We have got borders. Then you choose borders and shadings here. And we choose shading in this dialog box tab. Uh, right in this, in this pattern, as you can see, the pattern or background, we've got different grays. Let's say if you scroll over, there's more. Let's say you are required to assign 25% gray, 25% gray and okay. So that is still about table formatting. Right, moving on. Uh, let's create the header row. We have got a topic above, so now we need to create the header row. Right here, we need items. We've got an item, the unit price, the quantity, which is the number of uh, items required and so on. So which are those items required? All right, let's have a look. Right, now I realize that I've got insufficient number of rows. So how to go about uh, inserting more rows symbol? I need to insert three more rows below. So uh, I will highlight three rows symbol. The shortcut is to right click and insert rows below. So I've got three more rows below here so the unit price of each item here the printer is costing us 2400 each while the hard drive is costing 1200 each and the keyboard it's 450 each well the quantity number of items required Let's say we need five printers. We need eight hard drives. We also need 10 keyboards. All right, as I have said, from the beginning, I've indicated that in this lesson, we need to check how to insert the table, to insert the rows, columns, and also all about, that is all about formatting. Right before we can uh, proceed with further table formatting, now let's move to the question of calculations. Right, when it comes to Microsoft Word table, Microsoft Word table has got some capabilities of spreadsheet, meaning you can uh, pro you can process some calculations. So how to go about doing that? As I have said, we've got the table tools here, which is design and layout. So when it comes to layout, there is formula. So what is it that we need to do to calculate? As we need five printers, each printer costs 2,100. So we need to allow uh, this app to calculate the total amount for printers. So you go to formula. You can see in this dialog box, it's saying some left. You can click OK here. Because if it is saying some left, take note of spreadsheet skills. If it's some, we are adding. So it's going to add this 2,400 plus 5. So the answer is going to be incorrect. So simply do away this formula. It is totally incorrect. So we need to multiply here. So what is it that we multiply? Please take note. This is considered to be column A, this is column B, this is column C, and this is column D, just like in the spreadsheet. And again, 
This is row number one with the topic, row number two, the header row, row number three, and so on. So that is how we be able to identify uh, cell names or cells, right? Now, the formula is going to be equals to, if you take, take a note, this is going to be our B3 because there is one, two, three rows. So it's B3. So this B3 times C3. So you, you can see B3 and C3, small letters, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can also use cap locks. It's not key sensitive. Number formats. Right here, we need to specify that we are talking about currency. Here. Let's have a look. You scroll up and take the last option for currency and OK. As you can see, five printers, if each cost 2,400, the total is 12,000 rents. Well, unfortunately, this is Microsoft Word. There is no autofill. If it is spreadsheet, you can simply autofill this to save time. Unfortunately, Microsoft Word is unable to perform such uh, duties. Well, we need to go to each and every item to perform calculations. Right, the next one, formula again, you can see sum above, incorrect, remove the formula. So this one is going to be B4, and this B4 times C4, currency, and OK. Eight printers, if if it costs one down to each, it's going to be 9,600. The last one. Sum above, incorrect. So this is now is going to be B5 times C5. Specify currency again. And OK. Done. Right, moving on. You might be required to specify a grand total here. Yeah? A total gain here. Yeah? And subtotal. Right here. So we are proceeding with our formulas. Again, take note. In order to get total right now, please take note. This 12,000 rand is for five printers. 9,600, it's for eight hard drives. 4,500, it's for 10 keyboards. So now we need a total of all this. So it's formula sum above. The formula is correct because if it's saying it's saying sum above, that simply means it's going to add all of these three numbers. You simply indicate or specify currency only here. You don't need to change the formula and okay. So the the total is going to be twenty six thousand one hundred. We proceed to event. Well, we know that is fifteen percent. So all we need to do, so we can do this in two different ways. The first one, it's going to be formula. This one is incorrect. Now let's have a look at uh, the cell name for total. That is D1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is D6. times fifteen percent d six times fifteen percent specifying currency meaning this calculation is going to give us fifteen percent of twenty six thousand one hundred that is three thousand nine hundred and fifteen runs finally 
the subtotal. The subtotal is expected to add this total and that sum above. That is incorrect because if we allow this sum above, it's going to add all these numbers and the answer is going to be incorrect. So now, as we have said, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is D6 plus D7. D6 plus D7 specifying currency. And OK. Its total amount or subtotal to be paid is 30,000. And 15 rands. Well, that, that is not all about table formatting, but this is how we go about with uh, our calculations and some of uh, formatting on, 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 on our table, as you can see. But, but all in all, this is not all in connection with the table. So this is lesson number one of the table for computer practice N6. So in the next lesson, I'm going to show you a fair formatting of the table as well as some complications in connection with calculations. Thank you.